Hey guys, welcome back to Noob Masters SMP. So we are starting from what we left from the last episode. I got the got some iron and some other valuable resources from a shipping wreck, and I'm back to find where I died to collect all the stuff left. And I found this cool mountain and the flower forest. I tried walking along it and I found a deep hole, a deep cave. But yeah, I was lost actually. I didn't find the jungle, instead, I found these cool mountains and I started uh, rowing along this river. And then I found something cool. It is a village. Wow, this village looks beautiful in the night. I found a little bit of food from the chests and I decided to sleep to stop the hostile mobs from spawning. And yeah, the cool thing is we found some potatoes in the village. I took one and here another deep hole. Collected some hay bales. You don't need this provision, right? Don't take this. And I stole the stone cutter from the stone mason. <laughs> A little bit more food. And then I finally found the jungle. I've been heading a little bit to to the west anyway now we found the jungle and we found the river and now i was hoping to find where the place where i died near a stony uh, shore but i couldn't find it and i found this parrot tried to tame it but it didn't work i ran out of seeds so at this point i was sure that my stuff may have despawned I might have roaming around the area for a little too long. Yeah, that might cause them to despawn. So anyway, I found this cool desert and I found some bunnies. So I, <laughs> I wanted to hunt them down to get rabbit hides because we have bundles data pack enabled. Okay, and then I started exploring the desert and I found another village. Since it's, it's the night time, I decided to go into the village, uh, go into the house and sleep. Then I woke up in the morning and then <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Look at this guys, we found him! We found a camel. But unfortunately I still don't have a saddle to ride him. Could have been very very valuable to explore the desert more. I found a skeleton in leather armor, so it was not burning. Server lag was terrible. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't jump and attack him. Use the critical shots because I was getting hit by it when I tried to jump. And finally died. And I decided to tame some cats. And that's why I am killing all these salmon. It's the calico and I slowly chased the cats
See, the server was lagging. <laughs> the cat was not there for the whole time. But then finally, the moment came. See, only took one fish. And again, although I was crouching, the cat ran away. And that's where my patience was gone. <laughs> I tried chasing down the cat and tame it using the brute force, I guess. <laughs> but then I was able to tame one more cat. Man, this process is very tiring. And yeah, we tamed our, we, we tamed the final cat. There were some more, but I decided not to chase all the cats in one episode. I collected a few stuff, beetroot seeds and a cartography table and decided to leave the town with my new cat. I found this ruined bottle and I knew where exactly <laughs> the chest is gonna be. I'm not much of a room. <laughs> okay. And then I found this lava pool, so I decided to make a ruined portal, not ruined portal, <laughs> so I decided to make a nether portal there. But this is the first time I'm making an instant portal, <laughs> don't judge me. <laughs> I think I made it a little too tall, I think my portal is 4x2, I calculated a little bit incorrectly <laughs> after a few attempts and messing a <laughs> few times. I finished the portal. So I decided to put all my stuff in a chest in case if I die immediately when I head into the nether, who knows how dangerous it can be. And then, oh wow, <laughs> see. That's what I meant. We are at the edge of a ledge <laughs> for basalt delta. So I decided to come immediately back. There was nothing interesting. Wow! I found a mangrove forest and a desert temple. So I went inside very carefully, blocking the vulnerable places ah now dia then i went inside in immediately remove the pressure plate and then remove the tnt Remember, safety is number one priority. Undo! <laughs> I found dune armor chains. So I decided what to leave and what to take. Found more armor trims. At this point, I didn't know that uh, we can duplicate armor trims, so I thought at, <laughs> that's good. We found four, four, four uh, armor pieces, and I found the sharpness five enchanted book. That is really valuable. Then I decided to head into the mangrove forest and I plucked one propagule to plant. There were a few water bodies in the desert. I don't think that's a 
uh, river biome just a water body next to the swamp and carefully wreck the board without hitting the cat this is our third village second desert village and here i saw the blacksmith's house i knew there was something valuable yeah so not so bad we didn't find diamonds but we found an iron pickaxe now at this majestic creature this time i had a saddle so i forgot that i don't need to tame the camels using hay bales like we do for the horses anyway i put the saddle and started riding it Then suddenly a rain came. <laughs> it doesn't rain in the desert biome, but the nearby biome saw the rain. So it turned into a thunderstorm. So I went to bed to avoid the mobs. I think I was the only guy who had a bed at that time. And I started exploring a little more and then I found a village and a desert temple next to each other. What kind of a day? This is so fine. Only thing is Good. Nampu satu tanah dek. Right. Ooh, diamond horse. I'm on the other side. What should I sacrifice this time? Maybe torches. Oh no! Oh no! What happened? I think the farmer may have broken some crops that caused the block updates and water started flowing. But anyway, I found a still touch book. I decided to rescue this <laughs> camel from the desert well. Not the desert well, actually, it is the village well. Amar Zin Deep Dark Gya Ne Then I started hunting more rabbits because I really need some bundles My inventory is completely full Someone has killed Oh wow! <laughs> I found all the rabbit hides I need and made a bundle. Now this is really useful. And then I found this enderman. And I knew a safe way to kill an enderman. <laughs> Just place a boat and uh, carefully not breaking the boat, take out the enderman. Okay, got an end of it. And then I saw an eroded badlands ahead. Also, a wandering trade appeared. It had cherry saplings, but I didn't have enough emeralds. So I decided to take his leaves. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh my gosh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> uh, at this point, I was trying to come back to the spawn, 
I was lost. Uh, I don't have a compass yet. So I was trying roaming around uh, here and there. I came back to the Badlands biome and the jungle. What if I find a stony peaks? And then suddenly I found something very interesting. Ade! I found a dungeon and yet I don't know what type of dungeon is this. Just the zombie spawner. But the loot was very good. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I tried going here and there but couldn't find my way back. I tried to follow the river but then again I got lost <laughs> again. I knew that. Well, luckily I found it before it was too late. And finally I found a village. I couldn't come to the spawn yet, but I decided to stop the episode from here. So hope you guys liked it. Uh, like it if you like and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.